Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can separate soluble and insoluble solids from a mixture. There are two steps that you need to do to separate a soluble and an insoluble solid. The first one is filtration and the second one is crystallization. We're going to start off with filtration. It separates an insoluble solid from a solution or a mixture. Now the reason that that works is that the particles are insoluble particles which are the ones that won't dissolve, they are too big to fit through the filter paper. So they will get stuck in the filter paper. And what will happen is the filtrate will pass through. The filtrate is the solution that passes through, so it's that liquid that comes through, and our solution is our solvent, water, and our solute, our dissolved solids. So if there's any salt or anything like that left that will fit through the filter paper, that will end up in our filtrate down at the bottom of our conical flask. So, why do soluble solids not get collected? And that is all again down to particle size. If a solid will dissolve, the particles are going to be too small. They're small enough that they can fit through the holes in the filter paper, as you can see here. So what happens is they end up in the filtrate. So only insoluble solids like sand can be collected through filtration. Right, if I show you that in action. Here I have some rock salt. That has got soluble salt and insoluble rock in it, and I want to separate it. I want to get the rock out of it. So nice and simply, what I have to do is put it into a beaker and dissolve the soluble salt. So I do that by adding it in and stirring it. And then I need to filter it. So what I do is I get my filter paper, I fold it in half, fold it in half again, and put it into my filter funnel. Once I've done that, I tip my mixture in. As long as I don't go above the filter paper, what will happen is anything that's insoluble will stay in the filter paper and anything that's soluble will transfer through as my filtrate, as you can see here. So all I need to do is keep adding in my mixture into the filter paper and eventually I will be left with all of my solid in the filter paper and all of my filtrate my solution left in the conical flask and you can see it's separated because my solution has become colorless and I've got my orange rock left in the filter paper. Okay that's separated our insoluble solid let's move on to our soluble one how do we get that? We use crystallization. Okay if we start off with the use then as I've said it's separating a soluble solid from a solution so for example we're taking salt and we're removing it from water in this instance, our salt is our solute, our dissolved solid, and our water is our solvent, the liquid the solid is dissolved in. So how does crystallization work? Nice and simply, when you heat that solution, so you take your solution, you put it into an evaporating basin, as you can see on the right here, when you heat it, the water will evaporate, so it will turn into a gas. If you heat it down to about halfway, and then leave it to cool, the rest of the water evaporates, and it will leave behind crystals of your salt. The fact that it leaves crystals, that's why it's called crystallization. So if we have a look at this in action then, in my conical flask on the right you can see that I've got a solution. That solution is salt water. And what I want to do is I want to produce my crystals of salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into my evaporating basin and I'm going to turn my Bunsen burner on. And as you can see, which I've sped up here, as that water evaporates you start to get crystals of your salt forming which you can see from this end part of the video here, I've got my white crystals of salt. And that really is everything that you need to know. Okay, let's see how the examiner can ask you questions on this. So I have a question here which says, explain how to separate sand which is insoluble and salt which is soluble from water. Have a think, think through the two methods we've just talked about, pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So, first things first, let's start with our sand, which is insoluble. How do you separate that? Filtration. Talk me through the method. Use filter paper to remove the sand, and that will leave you in the bottom with your filtrate, which is your salt and water. How do you then separate the water from your soluble salt? Crystallization. So that's going to get you your fourth mark. How do you do that? Heat the water in an evaporating basin. How much do you heat? You get rid of about half of the water, 
And then what will be left behind once it's cooled, once it's dried, your crystals of salt. So any six of those seven gets you your six marks out of six. That pretty much is it for this video. I have got a review question for you, which is explain how to separate copper oxide, which is insoluble, from copper sulfate, which is soluble. Exactly the same thing. If you've got something that's insoluble and something that's soluble, do exactly the same method we've just talked about. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.